International Human Rights Day today, today. As, as you told me in the break, thank you. Are we doing enough as a nation of influence? I don't think we are. Um, the world is facing the biggest refugee crisis uh, since World War II. And frankly, we're not doing enough on our own doorstep, as your very powerful film from Oldham shows. We've got people in this country, one of the wealthiest countries on earth, who are going to be worried about food and shelter and warmth this, this Christmas. That's just completely unacceptable from a human rights perspective. So what do we do? Well, I think we need to pause and fix universal credit as a matter of extreme urgency so that people like Rachel, so that the people like Rachel don't, don't freeze or starve or worry about their kids this Christmas. And on the right. world's second parliament, referendum or not? No. You don't? I don't. I, I, Jeremy Corbyn has said that it, it remains an option, but you haven't made up your minds yet. Well, I personally um, don't think that in-out referendums deliver the most sophisticated or unifying debate. Um, you know, maybe others will disagree and that will happen one day, but I think what we need is a general election, and I would like to see it sooner rather than later, so that we can help people like Rachel, so that we can help people like Rachel in Oldham and all And for all she stuff. says about the private rented sector, can I just quote from a letter I received from Rachel, from a letter I received from Rachel this week. She says, I have a knot in my stomach every New Year period when we're due to sign a new tenancy agreement. After renting the same flat for 10 years, never being in arrears and keeping the property in good order, we were given notice to quit out of the blue. Will the Prime Minister help people like Rachel, to help people like Rachel, and back secure three-year tenancies for all private renters? Well, I, I say to the right honourable...